Hi, I'm Kevin Hill, and I've got some really exciting news. We hit 100,000 subscribers, and so to celebrate, I decided to do a special extra video for you guys. I actually took you outside, we're gonna do some painting in nature, so I hope you really enjoy it. Hi, I'm Kevin Hill, and as you can see, today we're doing something that's very special. I actually brought you out to the woods here, it's really, really pretty. And we're gonna do a painting outdoors, and I think you'll really enjoy it. So let's get started. We'll start off today with our three-quarter brush, and I'm just gonna drop in a beautiful little sky here. And I'm not gonna really paint exactly what I see. I'm gonna sort of be loose about it but I do like the idea of what I've got in front of me. I've got a beautiful little path here, and I've got a big old log, a stump, and I've got a big, oh, big cliff, and I've got some trees as well. There, it may be hard to see when you're, when you're looking at me painting, but this is kind of what I'm seeing as I look up and around, putting it all into one painting. There. Now, unfortunately, I had to move locations because the lighting was just getting too bright. It was a bit of a backlight to begin with, but it was so pretty that I wanted to at least, at least start there. And you see, now I, I went ahead and did a, a sketch all over the canvas and I filled it in because I didn't want to lose my values or colors or anything like that. And then I, got a, I went ahead and got out of that area. So now, now that we don't have the sun to deal with, let's just... Let's just begin working on our little painting. I'm just, these are some trees here and I'm just taking the filbert brush and, and I'm rubbing them. I'm using a, a flat board today instead of a canvas. It's easier to bring along and it's just kind of fun to, fun to do something different. All right, and I'm, this new area that I came to here has a lot of rocks in it, way more than the, than the other area. And so I kind of like that. So I went ahead and added some to this little path, around the path, right here. And that's neat, and this is that log. I wanna keep this here, that's pretty. You can almost use your brush strokes to sort of cut through the paint, almost give yourself some highlight because it's a white canvas underneath, a white board, not a canvas. <laughs> there we go. Just spend a little bit of time building your evergreen trees. Now I'll use a fan brush here to, to carefully shape this land. Now, I think in my painting today, this is gonna have a lot of texture. This is kind of one of the features of the painting, this little path. This is actually literally what we're standing on right now. And I'm gonna brush it forward. There, this kind of comes around that little bend there. All right, set that brush down. And let's grab a three quarter and some more color here. And I want to soften this area back. Nice. So remember, you can be a little bit looser here because you're painting on something that's really tiny. You don't have to actually, that's, <laughs> that's one of the bonuses here. You don't have to put in every detail. You can be looser. There. I'm smoothing this out now, just a bit. Just the tiniest little bit. Nice. Put a little color in there. There's a lot of fall colors around here. The leaves, that, I guess they've been dropped for quite a while now, but they still have some pretty color on the ground. So that's good. And there's definitely a lot of moss, so we'll want to start working on that pretty soon. There. Let's do that. Let's stick a little bit of yellow, a little bit of blue together. And see what this gives us. 
white to lighten it up. And right on here, on this tree, we'll just touch in a little bit of moss. <laughs> change to a, oh, we'll change to a filbert brush. Just build up the layers and the details. It's so pretty. Layer on the texture when you want to, like right out here. You can make some bright and vibrant leaves out here. You can do that. These sort of hang over what we already put down. <laughs> there you go. Beautiful texture. Now I'm carefully placing on a bit of extra highlight here with the filbert brush. <laughs> Not so much now, but there in the beginning, the light was really filtering down through here. And we had some beautiful, beautiful little leaves and things being highlighted. And obviously the, the path and the rocks were getting highlighted as well in a very interesting way. So that's what I'm doing here. There, see as they get bigger, as they get closer, they get bigger. Okay, don't go crazy because you don't wanna, don't wanna get repetitive or too busy. There, I'm just gonna do a couple of smudges of color here to make the, the very close ones like that. I'm not at all worried about these little hooks. I'll fix that in the studio. Okay, <laughs> ready for some real fun. Let's go ahead and take our white and our yellow mix them together. We obviously were getting kind of where the colors are just mingling together here, but I don't care. Let's go ahead and let's drop in right here as bright as we can go. So I want to put a little more white in that. Let's drop in a bit of a backlit bush like we saw earlier. I'm going to put the texture on very thick. Now I'll mix together a little bit of white and black. This makes a beautiful gray. Of course, I got some other of the random colors laying around here mixed in with it. And I'm gonna take our three quarter brush here and just give it a bit of a pull. Now, this canvas or board is not smooth like a canvas. So it's gonna pull off differently, especially if you're used to painting on a canvas, but that's okay. We're just gonna work with the texture that we get. We're not gonna fight it. There, these rocks are pretty smooth out here. There's really, they're very sharp angled, but they're smooth. So we'll just indicate them by doing several sharp angles and change the color. It looks like I got a little green here. Throw some of that green. Oh yeah, that's pretty. There, and again, the white of the board will kind of show through. It's stained, so it won't be pure white, but it'll add some interest. There. This isn't exactly like the scene that's back behind me, but it didn't make any difference. It didn't have to be. At this point, I'm kind of just going with it because I haven't even looked back in a while to see what was there. And the lighting's all different anyway, so the lighting changes in just a few minutes. Pretty amazing. <laughs> and there it comes. There's the sun. It's a bit of a cloudy day today, and it's windy. Not so much down here, but it's windy outside of this little canyon. So that makes it, makes the clouds move pretty quick and changes the lighting on me. Yeah, this is so much fun. Look at this. And I'm just matching the colors that I see around me. It's that simple. Just like you would match a picture or photo, just matching what I see. Now I'm gonna begin here to, to toss in a couple more boulders and rocks. You see, we're in a valley that goes like this. So, so I wanna represent that in my painting today. <laughs> and it's actually, I found it very helpful to hold a paper towel in my other hand since I got my palette down here. There. And maybe we just need a bit of a, a texture, not too much. 
and a bit of a dark here. There we go, that helps. And some color. You gotta have the color. Beautiful green and all that. All right, well, I think we're done. I had a lot of fun, I hope you did too. Don't forget to check out my website, my DVDs, and also my brush line. And thanks for watching.